is what the partnership program is actually all about. For 22 years, our federation has partnered with this community, the city of Nitivot, and the region of Stotega, which is comprised of 14 Moshavim and two Kibbutzim. And they're right on the border with the Gaza uh, Strip area. In fact, Kibbutz Saad and Kibbutz Alumim fields literally sit up to the fence. And um, even though there's been very difficult times recently, these are thriving and growing communities, which I find very inspiring. There's a lot of building going on. The Federation's committed to continuing to help the region build, increase security, and also build vital cultural institutions and that also encourage pluralism and Jewish identity. The area is home to more than 40,000 Israelis, and we like to make connections with the almost quarter million Jews here in Philadelphia, this wonderful musical collaboration being the latest of the projects. Partnership Together was built to engage, to build mutual engagement and serve as a living bridge between our communities, and we focus on creative entrepreneurship and place-making projects that enhance the life of the region. There's a booklet on the table outside. It's about the Jewish Federation Loves Israel, and you can see about our different projects over the many years. Who you can't hear? Closer to the mic. Okay. Closer to the mic. Yeah, I'll sit down. I don't want to mess up the mic for the, the singer. Um, so, on behalf, do you want me to repeat what I just said? No. no. On behalf of the Jewish Federation and our Partnership Together Committee, um, we'd like to really thank Klein. Yeah, we want to really thank Klein Life for hosting us this afternoon. I want to thank also our tolerance and Moody Ben David in particular, who helped us arrange these programs with the wonderful musicians from the Philadelphia Orchestra that he works with. And uh, I hope that we'll all enjoy this celebration that shows us the diversity and flourishing culture of Israel and the United States. Thank you.
Good evening. Oh, good. No, good afternoon. That's what happens when you have two shows in one day. And that's what happens when you're so in the dark. I have no idea how many of you are there. So you have to make noise during the show. So we really know there are many of you there. Uh, but maybe it's appropriate because the first song I played is called Lila Lila. Some of you probably have heard it before. It's one of my favorite Israeli songs growing up in Israel, playing and hearing it many times. So, um, great to have you here. Uh, welcome to Federation and Our Tolerance par uh, Partnership. Uh, we're very excited. This really all started when the Philadelphia Orchestra went uh, as a partnership uh, with the Federation on the mission to uh, to Israel in June, and we played concerts in Tel Aviv, Haifa, Jerusalem, uh, symphon symphony concerts, and then we also uh, played uh, uh, smaller events. And one one of the events that I I was I had the privilege of, of, of being a part of was going to Netivot and meeting Shmuel El Bas, who is a great musician, great mandolin player, and a great person. And uh, we were uh, with him and, and a string quartet. So, um, I guess you're just wondering why I'm here alone on stage. They all made the flight, they're all here. Uh, you are getting all seven, you know, it's, uh, it's okay, your money is well spent. Um, so, I hope you have a great time. Well, today, what you will really uh, hear is, is truly bridging of walls of the Andalusian music to the Middle Eastern music to Arabic music and Jewish music and a touch of the classics. So you will have it all, and I, I wish you a great afternoon. And with that, I would like to invite my colleagues, uh, the Andalusian trio, uh, Shmuel Elbaz, uh, Yoram Azulay, and uh, Moshe uh, Barshevet, and my colleagues of the Philadelphia Orchestra, Yayoi Numazawa, Meijin Huang, and Nate West. Please welcome them.
see everyone here. <laughs> Other people? Do we have a possibility to turn a little bit of the light in the audience? It would be great for me. I need the energy. Oh, oh, that's a good one. It's a pleasure and an honor for us to perform here for in front of you with this marvelous uh, musician from the Philadelphia Philharmonic. Yesterday night we listened to the concert of their incredible the orchestra. I was like shocked and amazed. And now uh, to play together is really a dream come, come true for me. And uh, we are trying to, to do like music that comes from uh, the region, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean region, and also the Andalusian music. You know, many immigrants from uh, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria came to Israel. Uh, also my parents, my parents came from Morocco, and also from Europe. Right, of you and Moshe, and um, in Israel it's very popular nowadays to combine this uh, kind of uh, music, this Andalusian music, into the Western style of music, the classical music. I do it a lot with orchestras in Israel, and today we're going to play for you really a varied um, 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 pieces, style of pieces, uh, like we heard it uh, before. We started uh, in an instrumental piece called the Tushia Sahli. Tushia is kind of an overture, it's, it's like opening the concert without any singer. It's, it, uh, it gives us the, the, the color of the scale of the, of the, of the tonality of the music. And um, it opens like the hearts and they give everybody uh, the feeling of, of the right feel of the concert. And the second one was a, 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 piece, a piece of a very modern, very popular piece uh, that wrote uh, uh, a... Joama. Joama was very popular in Israel. Uh, he was one of the, the, the first ones that um, put this, his music into the radio, into the broadcasting radio in Israel. It was really totally new and uh, nobody heard it before and he was the first one, the, the pioneer of that uh, music in Israel. Today it's really very popular. Every musician that writes uh, Israeli music puts in all this flavor of, of uh, this music into it. It becomes really Israeli. We will uh, continue now in a piece called the Karamikal. Uh, by the way, Moshe, Moshe um, started his career with, uh, as a violinist and very fast uh, wanted to, to sing. And today we are honored uh, to have him here also as a musician and also as a python. So he will uh, introduce the new piece called the Karamikal. It's Israeli music. And the lyrics from Rabbi Yudalevi. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, 
You know what's coming in a few days. You know which holiday, yes? Oh, yeah. Very good. So, um, okay, so it's just appropriate that for Purim we should play something for Purim. And this is a Purim medley arranged by Shmuel El Baz, and I hope you like it. It will include a few songs that I, I know I love since I was a little kid, and I think you will enjoy it too.
the last piece for, for this um, group of, uh, of, uh, of students that we play called Longa Shnaz. Longa Shnaz is the Turkish music of the composer uh, Adhan Bek Santuri. Uh, Longa is kind of rondo, if you know what's rondo, it's, it's kind of a, a theme that uh, comes back again and again. Between the theme, the familiar theme, there are new uh, parts, new music. So we always like wait for the familiar uh, theme. And it's very virtuosic. Um, I heard the uh, Udi play it in, uh, on YouTube and I said, okay, we have a link. That was the first uh, you know, link that we uh, met and uh, we, we played it uh, in Netivot. Uh, and it's, it's, it's great to, to do it again here. played really uh, relates to so many cultures and that's with our tolerance that is really the work that that we aspire to accomplish uh, because that longa shahnaz I took with an Arab colleague of mine playing the violin and a Puerto Rican drummer and we played it with an Italian chamber orchestra speaking of confusion Italian chamber orchestra sponsored by the Vatican and it was for uh, it's not over yet. Hold your breath. Let the phone go off. Um, and we played it for a Christmas TV show that took place in three locations. The first night we played in a huge cathedral in Italy. Then we drove the Italian way in the middle of the night to the airport to catch a flight to Tel Aviv. We got to Tel Aviv. We took a bus, a checkpoint, and we went to Bethlehem. And we played at the Church of the Nativity the next night. And then we took a bus back, 
and we played at the Jerusalem Theater. Literally, three cultures, three nights in a row. And I have to tell you the most, uh, and I remember playing this Shachnaz, and the most moving part for me as an American Israeli Jewish person was when a member of the Palestinian audience in Bethlehem came up to me and told me, Kol Hakavod, which means great job, nice, congratulations. He was so, those are the moments we, those are the moments we, we pray for. And now, please welcome back Yayoi Nomozawa and Mei-Chin Huang. say that Mengqing plays both violin and viola? Yes. It does say. Okay, so a slight modification, um, you know, I guess in the spirit of the mergers that happen in today's world, you know, banks merge, airlines merge, so we decided to merge our instruments, and she's actually only using the violin today. So, well, there is silence. I don't know if it means that nobody wanted to hear viola, or everybody is so shocked because you came just to hear viola. That would be a good viola joke. You know, viola is the most wonderful instrument, but also the most joked about instrument. So in Philadelphia Orchestra, when you hear a joke about any instrument, it's always the viola. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll be playing the um, duet for two violins, of course, um, um, by Diderio.
is the Egyptian style from the national uh, composer of the uh, Egyptian uh, music, uh, Muhammad Abdul Wahab. This called this piece called the uh, Hakiyat Habibi. But the difference is, it's really about, about the, the, the audience reaction, yeah? So this, this, 
Next quiz is a test for you. Okay, let's see what happens.
Very well. <laughs> I must say. It's, yeah, it's, it's improving from uh, piece to piece. And now we have a new challenge for you. <laughs> this piece is in a rhythm of vals. Okay, we have a lot of space here. <laughs> here and over there. Originally, it's a tune that they wrote, uh, composed uh, Enrico Macias. It's from a uh, Algerian that lived all his life in, uh, in uh, France. It was very popular among the Jewish communities in Europe and uh, also in Israel. And he put the lyrics, we put the lyrics on his uh, melody, Le Chadodi. So half of you will sing the lyrics, Le Chadodi, it's uh, for Shabbat, and the second will dance here. <laughs> Let's see how it combines.
Thank you very much. We are going to finish this uh, meeting, this event, this uh, beautiful cultural uh, collaboration uh, with the, it's like him, Jabechi uh, Yerushalayim. You probably know that uh, melody, uh, this tune, and uh, we together, like the great singing, we finish this uh, concert. I want really again to thank Udi Badavi for this. Uh, we made it happen this after all this uh, uh, project of doing is, is really great and uh, we are so happy to be here and thank you very much for it again. I also want to take a second to thank uh, uh, Klein Life. This is my first time performing here. You have a wonderful theater. Should be congratulated for that. I, I would like also to thank Bath Racing. Are you here somewhere, Bath? Uh, for her great, great, great work putting this together. And uh, we're meant to be today at 4.30. And if you really enjoyed it that much, you can follow us to uh, Glenside Lutheran Church or tomorrow night in Phoenixville, Colonial, the beautiful Colonial Theater at 7 p.m. Thank you for being here. Thank you.